Oof. Late night, early morning. Um, I'm exhausted, if I'm being honest. Don't exactly want to be out here. It's super cold, super windy, but uh, we're out here trying to make a video for you guys. Um, the tides are also horrible. We are currently at the high tide right now, uh, but it's going down. Well, high tide was, I think a couple hours ago. Yeah, it was a couple hours ago. So, everything that we taught the fishing should not be great, but um, we're gonna go out there and grind. And also, the weatherman said four to seven miles an hour. It looks and feels like probably closer to 10. Uh, and it's cold, and it's foggy, and I didn't bring enough clothing. But I do have an energy drink, which should be nice. Uh, but I'm excited to be out here. No, nevertheless, the chance uh, catching some fish. So let's get out there and uh, yeah. All right, y'all. We just launched. There's one boat to our left. Two boats actually to our left, and then another kayaker. So we're all launched at the same time. We'll see who, if anyone, gets fish. Hopefully, hopefully everyone. Uh, Getting out there, it's about 6.15 a.m., so pretty early. Hopefully the sun comes out. If the sun comes out, this will make us a, little, a lot more enjoyable, okay? I don't know about you guys. My least favorite part about the bay is the fog. I hate the cold. If I could have SoCal weather every single, like SoCal heat every day, I would take it in an instant. So, I kind of see the sun poking out over there. Hopefully, hopefully it comes out. But uh, I'm gonna stop recording and we'll catch you when we're out the spot. Well, I don't want to say I uh, gave bad omens, but um, we got out to the inlet and it was maybe a little bit too wavy for our liking. Typically, we can we'll handle some waves. But Zach has a trolling motor on his kayak, and uh, just a trolling motor because his pedal drive is broken. Um, so he doesn't have his pedal drive and the thing that we're worried about is that if we get stuck out there without his drive then I would have to bring him back and it's maybe just a little bit too windy a little bit too wavy for us to potentially do that so our plan right now is to head in we can either wait an hour and kind of see if this weather gets any better or we're gonna go to Berkeley Marina and try there um, and if neither of those things work out, uh, we're going to make a video kind of talking about our kayak setups for you guys. Alright y'all, well, we waited a little while. Unfortunately, that's not happened for us today. The weather's just not getting any better out there. And it's only supposed to get worse throughout the day. So, uh, the plan is to go back to Zach's house and um, pick up a different rod, different set of rods, and go to a striped bass spot and try for some striped bass. Um, kind of sucks that today was unsuccessful, but um, you know it is what it is. Well, guys, we pivot. Tid, we pivoted. <laughs> we're at another spot from shore because where we were at was just a little too wavy to go out. So we're using chopped anchovies for striped bass and full anchovies for stingrays or sharks whatever will bite out here so yeah let's rig up and cast out all right y'all we're using a little chunk piece of anchovy here three ounce weight on a fish finder rig just gonna cast this bad boy out it's gonna, gonna shoot out there yep beautiful <laughs> Are we gonna get our first striper spot? Yeah, that's 
Oh my god. It worked. Strategy does work. <laughs> That's crazy. Come on, Joe. We gotta get this guy in. Need to. Damn, you're gonna catch the first fish on my rod. <laughs> Sorry, you bought it. That's how it always works. Whoever buys it gets the first fish. Big one, you think? It's kind of hard to tell with the seaweed. Oh, it's a leopard. Oh. Well, fish is a fish. It's a sand. That not a super. Guys. That's awesome. I know. Little teenage size leopard shark. Alright guys, let's get the hook out and get him back in the water. We caught a fish guys and a little leopard shark. Boop. Boop. <laughs> This guy's lens all dirty. Uh, super cool fish, guys. Oh, let's get him back, back in the water. These guys are tough as nails. Yeah. Bet oh. you'll swim away right when we get him back. He's already pulling away. Yeah. There he goes. There he is. Cool fish, you guys. Beautiful fish. Let's try and catch a striped bass, stingray, or a bigger one of those. Let's get our lines back in the water. Super cool fish, you guys. It's been a while since I caught one of those because we've been doing so much kayak fishing content. Um, you can just put it on the ground. Uh, let me guys show you the rig that we're using. It's just a simple fish finder rig, three ounce weight, 20 pound fluorocarbon. This is the piece of bait we're using, super tiny piece of anchovy. And Zach's gonna show you how to hook it up here. Or uh, you, if you wanna take the camera, I can show him. Uh, it's fine. I'll... Literally so easy. Just like make that. sure the hook is not, there it is. Uh, we're gonna cast this out. Real quick, guys, before I cast this out, if you want to use any of the gear that we use in today's video, there's gonna be links in the description box below. Also, if you guys want to check out some of our merchandise, we also have links to that as well. Super cool clothing. Uh, we actually just dropped a rain jacket that is waterproof. So if you want to check that out, it's only 80 bucks, which is a lot less than a lot of other waterproof jackets on the market. Um, we are gonna cast this bait out. I'm gonna cast it out about 30-ish yards. The thing with anchovies is you can't cast them with too much power, otherwise they will fly off the hook. So just flick of the wrist, shoot on out there. That's all you need to do. Let it go, let out some drag, more fish. This is a bite guys. Usually what we like to do is we wait till it starts running with it. Sometimes I like to toy with the food before they fully pick it up and it's in the mouth. Oh, oh. Or it's just seaweed. That's just not seaweed. That is a bite. That is for surely a bite. This seems like seaweed. Oh, oh my god, I got straight. Oh, baby. The, method <laughs> the method works. Oh my god. First striper dog. at this spot. Yo. I was going to say, it's not seaweed, dog. That was the weirdest thing ever, bro. Was yeah, that the, was that the biggest striped bass fight you've ever had? Yeah, bro. That was so hard. That, all right, we're going to get the hook out and get back in the water. 
All right, guys, that's a little baby striped bass right there. Let's get him back in the water. Hopefully, it could be a 30 incher one day. Ready, bud? There we go. Zach kills him. Oh. Look at him go. Oh. There it goes. Got one on, y'all. Another small one. Still a fish. Instantly, guys. Like we, the second we cast out, we put this GoPro down for y'all. It's reading one minute and fifty seconds. <laughs> okay, so it's probably bigger than mine. It doesn't feel much bigger. Okay. Never mind. Smelt. smelt. Oh, Third oh, species of the day. Zach closed the, or hooked a fish. We catch this one, we're going home. Oh baby. This was on a trip where we weren't gonna even go fishing. And now look at us. Well, we were we were going fishing, but we had to cut it short. Oh yeah, look at a little bigger. You a shark? They're shark or big striper? Put your guesses in the comments below, guys. My guess is big striper. Never mind, big shark. Big shark, for sure. One of the two. If it's a striper, it's a big striper. If it's a striper, it's a, it's a pretty good sized striper. Or just a lot of seaweed. Nah, it was I'm running. I'm striper. Nah, it's a shark. It's running side to side. It's shark as well. It's but I still hope it's a striper. Yeah, exactly. It's definitely shark. <laughs> Zach was saying we have to cut something out of the video. I don't know what he's talking about. Right. Fourth <laughs> fish of the day, you guys. What, what? Look at that. And guys, that's how you actually land a shark on like Joe's. Ever. <laughs> yeah. It's darker than the other one. Ready, bud? You're ready. Let's go. All right, guys, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Bit of a weird, like, kind of off ball or uh, oddball video. Um, if you guys want to see some kayak fishing content uh, as well as some shore fishing content, hopefully here soon, subscribe. Usually our videos are more structured than this. This is just kind of a last second video, but uh, yeah, hope you guys liked it. Uh, like I said earlier, check out our merch. And if you want to use any of the products we use, we got links in the description. Uh, with that being said, we'll see you next Wednesday at 5 p.m.